Hi, Violet here. The other day in a video I mentioned that I had made something with tapestry and was going to show you. So this is that video. But I just wanted to show you this Victoria magazine. I love these magazines and I have collected a lot of them. From the early ones to some of the present ones I don't buy because they're not as rich with vintage stuff as the old ones. But this was the second one they printed and it was in, it says winter 1987 to 88 and it's, it's got a tapestry bag on the front and, and inside it has a whole article on tapestries. So that was kind of neat because I just found that after I was started uh, looking for tapestry fabrics and using them these magazines are so beautiful. They really are collector pieces. So anyways, that's another story. But over the years I've collected different tapestry pieces, little things, and I, my friend gave me this. It's a little change purse in tapestry. It's actually petty point, I think. This is sort of a modern purse. It's not real old tapestry, but it's kind of neat. I got it at the thrift store. The same friend gave me this older bag too, and it's really nice. It's black on one side, and it is. This is Petty Point, and this is Needlepoint, and the whole background is Needlepoint. They're not really old, but um, I think maybe the 60s or something. And then years back, I always loved tapestries, but I made this bag, a knitting bag with some tapestries, kind of like pineapple. And I also made. Oh, there's another purse. This is more modern with tapestry. And I also made a matching little bag to put my scissors and different and needles in. And I did make a matching crochet hook holder, but I just can't put my hands on it. So I keep finding different different tapestries or different tapestry like pieces. I made this years ago with some tapestry and put a flower on it and it has side pieces and I use this all the time to go collect my mail. This was a, a I found at a garage sale and it's a really neat I don't know how old it is you know but it's a big piece and has these dancing people on there and this lady in a chair and I think the dog is licking the dishes. <laughs> Anyways, it's really nice. I, it was in a garage sale for just a few dollars and it was nailed onto a piece of wood, which I didn't really care for. But what I've done, what I have made, I was describing to somebody on a video, to, I was responding to their comments and I said, I love tapestries, fabrics, and they remind me of the old carpet bags. So I decided to make myself a carpet bag. And this is it. Uh, it has corners down here and the front has, I have a magnetic button there so it stays closed and this was just um, a blingy belt thing or scarf thing that I had so I put that on the overlap I made handles with the same fabric and older tapestry bags, like Mary Poppins' bag and different tapestry bags, they use a tubular frame. And it goes, it's round, and it goes down like this, and then when you close that, it snaps shut and stays shut. Well, I couldn't find something like that except for a lot of money. So I went to the thrift store, and I found a briefcase, a real soft briefcase, and it had this these metal bars that open and then they open and then they snap they stay open like that so there's and I lined it with this really soft pink crushed velvet so it gives it a little more durability plus it's pretty and everything's washable so that's my tapestry bag I didn't have a pattern I just looked at the internet on tapestry bags and see what I could find and and then made my own pattern. I just kind of brought it out. The sides come out a bit and instead of putting side pieces I just did those corners where you sew a V at the bottom. 
So I'm not going to be Mary Poppins with my tapestry bag, but I really love it. It's too big for a purse. It's a little bit, it's probably a nice little carry-on or if you were going in the car to put things in. So I found a while back, I did show this, this tapestry fabric, and I would have to piece this, I think, because the designs are off-centered, kind of like, this is really pretty, this one with the, the where is that, dancing lady and man, and this one has gold through it. I did show this on a video, and also this one is nice. And it has um, blue and tur sort of turquoise in there. It's a softer one. This is a pillow, actually, a pillow that I found at the thrift store. It's that on both sides. That could make something. There's a piece that I had from another project. I lined some of my velvet bags with tapestry because some of the velvets, especially the crushed velvets, are not very thick. This is the the bag. This is the pattern that my bag is made out of. Um, this was some other stuff I had from years ago, just scraps. And I still have a big piece of this one. I just find they're so... Uh, tapestry is just a really interesting fabric and does remind me of the old days. It says, tapestries rich with tradition. Sumptuous patterns, intricate large-scale florals, inviting textures, some needlepoint, others woven, and a wondrous wealth of colors that are mellow, burnished as if firelit. What but tapestry fabric embodies all this, revered, forgotten, and now revived once more. Today's tapestries bring back all the splendor and romance of a time whose taste find an echo in 1987 and 2018. I added that myself. Anyways, that's my little tapestry project and some of the tapestries that I have and use. And this is what I got the other day too. And it's wired, but I just think it's kind of like tapestry and it would make really nice handles or borders. You can take the wire out. And that was in a bag of other stuff. So, thanks for watching. And if you like tapestries like I do, I, uh, make a bag, make something, make hearts. They could be, tapestry fabrics could be used in so many ways and I just love the depth and richness of the colors. Thanks for watching. All the best. Bye for now.